But if we're talking body drags, Brian is the undisputed king. Somehow he just keeps them going on forever. I mean, he's been known to drag across entire oceans. So how does he do it? Yeah, man. First of all, you have to have a really good powerboard. But if you can't afford that, what you want to do is keep your rig upright and just drag to your knees to your toes. And then you've got the action. Yeah, man. Action. That's the key, folks. Although it's called a body drag, the very last thing you want... The very last thing you want to do is actually drag your whole body. The idea is to the, the idea is to blame just on the tops of your legs. Will you stop splashing? If you've had a go at this, you'll agree that it's not the stepping off and dragging that's difficult, so much as the getting back on. The common tactic is to wait for the biggest gust, bear away, wind her up to about 30 knots before hurling yourself at the water and hoping you'll rebound back up like a bouncing bomb. Not so much a body drag as unplanned colonic irrigation. But rather than go for speed, you've just got to get the rig to deliver more power at the given moment. The way to do that is actually to slow down by heading upwind, then step off on a close reach, lever down on the boom, and it's then the extra power produced by bearing away that heaves you back up. In this one, by playing the angle to the wind and continually bearing away, Brian generates more and more power to keep on dragging. How much you need to bear away depends on the wind strength. Bear away too much too soon and well, there's part one of your forward loop training. Another top tip is to step off well away from the windward edge. You'll then come back in over the side and end up forward on the board and aren't left floundering off the tail. And finally, and this is not as flippant as it seems, think of it as a very fast water start. Look at the mast foot, try to put your nose on it, project all the power into it and you'll automatically keep the rig high and bear away. And it's a lot easier, of course, if you choose the right conditions. Which ones do you favour, Whitey? Favourite for a body drag? <sighs> Only condition, the hurricane.